Aloha and mahalo for joining me. I'm Janet and welcome to the Call to Create podcast. And I want to ask you this interesting question. Is all the practical stuff in your business killing your creativity? Or do you think that it's killing your creativity? You know, it's interesting because when you have a business, there's all kinds of practical things that you have to do and practical components that make up a business and sometimes it can seem really boring and it can seem like it's just killing all the creative juices that you have going on. But I want to challenge you on that because there definitely have been moments where I thought that all this practical stuff and all this boring stuff and even technology sometimes in the beginning many years ago I used to think like oh my goodness Do I really have to do all that? Is all of that necessary? I just want to do my creativity. All the things that I do that are creative. And what I've learned all these years is that it doesn't have to be that way. All the practical stuff and all the technology and all the basic stuff that needs to happen in your business doesn't have to kill your creativity. Or you don't have to feel like it's killing your creativity. Because if you think about it, that's how life is made of. Not only are we able to create and do creative things and create our art and all these beautiful things that we bring to life. But behind all of that, there has to be all the practical boring stuff. Like the best example I could give would be, well, not maybe the best example, but one example I could give is if you're a painter. Now, somebody had to do all the boring stuff and design a paintbrush and make that paintbrush. And then somebody had to design the canvas or whatever you're painting on. Somebody had to design it and make it and you know, all of that stuff so that you could paint on it. But if you look at it from a different perspective and a different angle, you'll come to see that even these people who made the paintbrushes and the canvases, uh, or even if you do like watercolor, like the watercolor paper, they were creating too. They were doing something creative. They were taking all these materials and creating something by putting it together, whether it's gluing it together or processing it in whatever way and whatever way is involved in whatever method is involved in putting these items together so that you could have it to create your art and be creative. So if you just take a step back and think about all the different things that have to happen in order for you to do your art and be creative, you'll realize that there's a practical side to it that kind of looks boring and it looks like a lot of work and it looks like it's not interesting. Trust me, I've had all those thoughts and feelings years ago where I would think, oh boy. So look at it this way too, or think about it this way. What if no one ever created your paintbrushes or your canvas, or your watercolor paper, what would you do? What would you use to paint with? What would you use to paint on? You know, you could get even more creative, I'm sure. Like for me, if somebody asked me that question, if nobody created these items, I would think, well, okay, I would figure out what I could use to paint with. I could find something to paint on, But would I enjoy doing all that? Would I enjoy creating my own type of paintbrush? Would I enjoy finding something else to paint on? And the answer could be yes. It could be no or it could be yes. Now for me, I like to think of different ways to make things and different ways of being creative. I like to also figure out how I can repurpose something. And I probably would paint on cardboard. I do paint on fabric. I've painted on fabric for years. And I would just find something else to paint on. But as far as like a paintbrush, I could make my own too. I would figure out, you know, like maybe I could get string 
just wrap all the string together. Of course, it would probably be not as effective as a, a refined paintbrush like the paintbrush companies make, but I definitely would figure out how to go about doing things just because I like to think that way and think of what else I could use or how I could make something. And maybe you're not that way and that's okay. But my point is, is that if you feel like all of this practical stuff is, is so boring and it's just killing your creativity, I just want to ask you to just take a step back and look at it differently. And then I want to talk about like all the other practical stuff that has to happen in your business, like doing your financials, like doing paperwork for taxes, filing taxes, paying taxes. And then the other practical things are maybe if you make a video of you doing your art and then you have to edit the video and then you have to upload the video and then you have to tag it and do all that kind of other stuff so that people can see this beautiful video that you've made. And then what about things like having to post on social media, trying to figure out, okay, what kind of image can I post or what kind of image can be of great value to people? You know, you have to think about all those things. Now, some people like the idea of posting videos or pictures on social media. Some people find joy in that. That's their creativity but others may not. So I invite you to think about all these things that is necessary to have a business, but just look at it as a process, as if it's something that is going to help you work towards your goal of sharing your art and your creativity with people and feeling that joy that you get when you do share your creativity. So I want you to have a different mindset. Yes, at first it may seem like all the practical stuff is just going to kill every creative juice that you have inside. But I can promise you that it's not. If you work on it a little bit at a time and mix it in, mix some of the practical stuff in with your creativity, do a little bit at a time. Don't just spend all day doing practical things or practical stuff as sometimes we want to refer it to it's just stuff nothing interesting but do a little bit of the practical and the creativity in one day don't do all practical stuff in one day because you know it might exhaust you which it has exhausted me in the past when I've just tried to do only tech stuff all day long after at the end of the day I used to feel like somebody sucked the life out of my brains I was just so exhausted I couldn't even think straight or see straight so don't do that to yourself but these things are necessary but it doesn't have to be anything that's gonna stifle you or you know stress you out or suck the life out of you just take it one day at a time just do a little bit and you can reach out to me. I can definitely give you some ideas on what you can do to help you do all the practical things that are necessary. But I want to invite you again to just change your mindset a little bit at a time and look at it where at the end of the day, you're going to be so, so proud of yourself that you did all the boring stuff and just taking it a little bit at a time and that it didn't suck the life out of you because we live in a technology driven world nowadays so we don't really have a choice you know you have to do some of the practical and, and tech stuff that you know is not always fun and I know too sometimes I'd rather just be creating and doing fun stuff like that but when you get to that point where you can hire somebody to do all that boring stuff you know that will be a great day. But until then, you know, when you have to do it yourself, just take a step back and take a breath and just remember that this is not going to last forever. You don't have to do all the practical and boring stuff yourself for the rest of your life. You know, the more, the more money you start making in your business, the sooner it is that you can hire somebody, even if it's just on a part-time basis, you know, maybe a couple hours a week that you can have someone else do all of that stuff. But in the meantime, we want to prevent, I want to help you prevent 
you from killing your creativity. That's not good. But you have to do the practical stuff. But I can promise you if you just do a little bit each day, you'll get better at it. It gets easier and you'll realize that it's not so bad after all. But at first, it will be a little painful. I have to be honest. You know, if you're one of those that just hates the practical stuff and hates the technology, it will hurt a little bit. But if you just take some tiny steps every day, and then once you've done something technical or practical, then jump into doing something creative, do your art, and do whatever it is that inspires and uplifts you and makes those creative juices start flowing because that will help anytime you have stress I'm sure you know that once you start doing your creative art it seems like all the stress just melts away and that happens for me too and I'm pretty sure that happens to you so make sure you always go back to ending your day with doing something creative it'll just help uplift you and just help all the stress release from your body or the stress will be released from your body and again all this practical stuff does not have to kill your creativity and please share this podcast with anyone who you know would get great value out of listening to it especially if you know that they're thinking about starting their own business Or even if they're not, there's still great value that I share in each episode that can bring value to women even if they aren't interested in starting their own business. And please rate and review this podcast. I would appreciate it. And thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. Aloha.